We're finally learning our first song. The song we're learning today is called C'est la nuit. I don't know French. It's a version of a French folk song and it only uses the notes that we learned in the last video. So another reminder that in order to make the best use of this video series, you should already know how to read sheet music. You don't need to be amazing at it, but the basics should be there because we'll be learning our first song with sheet music. So it's on the screen here so you can play along. And again, make sure that your instrument is in tune. Make sure your D string matches mine, because that's the string we'll be using. And let's give this a try. So our first note is E, which is first finger. As you're playing E, make sure that your left hand still looks good. No bending this way or that way. And you don't have to press down very hard with your hand to get a good sound on the violin. If you're getting this sort of sound, you're not pressing down hard enough. But if I add just like a penny weight, I get a good sound. So very light. Our next note's F sharp, so that's a whole step away. And then open D. So when I play F sharp, my fingers are here, and when I play open D, my fingers are there. So that's about a centimeter of space. You can hardly tell that my fingers are moving. In general, with your left hand, lift the fingers as little as you possibly can. Let's go ahead and try this with a metronome, very slow. Feel free to play along with me. One, two, three, four. So for these tutorials, I'm going to go over just a few things that I think a beginner might have problems with if I were teaching them in person. Hopefully something from it will help you. One thing that a beginner might have problems with is staying in tune. So maybe you start with me on the right note and you gradually move out of tune. So what you should do is you should get your first finger in tune and consider that your anchor. So when I play the F sharp, my first finger stays where it is. And when I play the open D, my fingers come up only just a tiny, tiny bit, but the first finger still hovering over the correct note. So that way when I play that E again, it's still in tune. I haven't moved one way or another. So in general, when you're playing, your first finger is gonna be your anchor. So if you keep that one in tune and you keep it at least hovering over the correct note, then the rest of your fingers are more likely to be in tune. Remember while we're playing that the thumb is loose and free, it's not clenching onto the violin, it's providing just a little bit of counterbalance for our fingers. But ultimately the thumb doesn't do very much in violin playing. So drifting away from the correct pitch might be one thing that beginners have problems with. If you can't hear if you've gone away from the correct pitch, really try to practice with a tuner as much as you can and listen to music a lot. I have videos where you can play along with the pieces, but you can also just listen to them for the right pitches if you need to. Another thing that a beginner might have problems with is their arm getting tired. So if you're a beginner, just take frequent breaks. You really don't need to be practicing more than 30 minutes a day at a maximum when you first start out. The last thing that I can think of that a beginner might have problems with is not using the correct part of their finger. So if you try playing this with really flat fingers, pitches aren't going to be quite as accurate. So if you keep your fingers curved, and remember we talked about maybe putting them on your knees to get the shape, and use more the tip of your finger, not the absolute tip, but just enough that your fingers keep a curve, then your pitches are probably going to be more accurate. When you play the open string, make sure that your finger is not touching it at all. If your finger is just barely pressing down on the open string, you'll get that sound. So just have your fingers slightly hovering above. Let's try one time at a slightly faster tempo, playing it all together. Try playing along with me. One, two, three, four.
are going okay so far. I have a video where you can play along with the sheet music and you can practice it on your own. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. If there's one question that I get a lot, I'll just make another video addressing it. But I hope these videos are helpful. Have fun practicing!